of all the gin joints, in all the towns, in all the world, you have to walk into Paddy. Many of you may be familiar already with the 1930s version, but the one I'm going to do today is the original 1916 square shape with the yeoman on the guard in the front. Very, very English. Doesn't really stand out from the crowd brand wise. But that's not what we're after. What we're after, ladies and gentlemen, is this little ingredient inside. It's probably the hardest to get hold of. But they are absolutely essential. Do not kid yourself. First one is the maraschino. What bugger they have hold of? Um, I managed to get this in George Street in an off license in Edinburgh. Um, this is absolutely gold dust in your drink. This makes the aviation the great drink that it is. It's French and it will give a slight heathery tinge in colour to the drink when it's finished. And the lemon will give a just slight cloudiness to it. A lot easier. I got this little instrument here, which is in uh, Imperial Fluid Ounces, but also metric as well for those Europeans out there. So there's two ounces of gin. Make a nice cracking sound. Probably won't pick that up, but uh, it's certainly working. Next, we want the maraschino. Now, maraschino can actually be quite overpowering. Just one drop, because this can be very overpowering. Where I do make it up is actually in the creme de, de violette. So, to the creme de violette. And let just... Wonderful smell. It's a shame we don't have smell vision, because you're absolutely missing out on this. Creme de violette. And just keep see. There we go. And again, over the cross eyes. Wonderful, we're getting put around. I've got the fresh here for demonstration. If you can get fresh, go for it. You just can't beat it. So give it a good squeeze. There we are, that puts Lovely. This is the bartender's pearl, is it? Mmm, wonderful flavours coming through there. You can get uh, flavours of lemon rind, orange rind, junipers. Wonderful. Actually, the beef feeder, it's not a... Right, don't forget to put the top on when you're shaking. I know it's teaching you to suck eggs, but I've done that before. I'm really good at it. You can actually clean that metal icing right up. So you won't be able to hold it for very long. There we go. We pick those up. Get these. Don't get the glacier cherries that you would use in cakes and things like that. Far too syrupy. Far too sweet, um, and they'll just ruin a good drink for you. Pop that in the bottom. There we go. Hope you're enjoying me. This is the fun part, or certainly is for me, where you're actually straining it into the glass. And we have pure echoes of grand old age of 1916. Slight mistiness to it, that'll be coming from the lemon juice, but also the creme de violette gives it a subtle, but very, very nice. Chin chin. I say it to myself. Welcome to Paddy's Bar.
Come back again when you can. Thanks for your time. Bye-bye.